Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Friday, November 6th, sixth day on the trail, and we're definitely going to make it to Ozone Campground today. We may take a little break there. Uh, this is Hignite Hollow Creek, mile 79.3. I wasn't sure, but I've been looking in the guidebook this morning. And we got hammered with rain last night, so I'm kind of trying to let everything dry out over here. You can see I've got everything scattered. Some things hanging up in the tree. Um, did get condensation in the tent. The floor was kind of wet this morning. A little disappointed in that, but nothing I can do about it now. So we're going to try to pack up, get over to Ozone. Hopefully the sun will be out by then. It's turning. It's definitely a blue sky, cloudy kind of day, but much, much better than yesterday as far as the weather goes. So I'm hoping the sun will be out when we get over there and we can get everything dried out. So we're going to finish packing everything up here in a couple minutes and head on out. And we got a food cache at Ozone, and like I said, we may take a break there. Um, having an issue with my phone, and I may need to get uh, get something for it. Actually, I'm running out of memory, and I need another memory card, or I'm not going to be able to film the whole trip, and I'm not going to do that. So if I have to spend a day or two chasing down a card, that's what I'm going to do. Right, Jackie B? <laughs> take his raincoat off him today he does not like that anyway we're going to get moving Ozark Highlands Trail so glad it's not raining I could see stars this morning when I woke up and you can see blue skies over there so it's going to be a good day we'll see ya well, look who finally came out to say hi. Mr. Sun. Just left camp not too long ago. Tried to let things dry out, but it didn't really do much good. I pack everything fairly wet. Mostly the tent, but I had my pack lined with two lawn leaf trash bags, so I just took one and put the dry stuff in one and stuffed it in there and then put all the wet stuff in the other one so hopefully when we get to ozone the sun will be like that and I can lay everything out and let it dry up hey Mr. Froggy where you going? hello anyway you can see over on the ridge over there fully the sun's fully hitting that. Unfortunately, we're down in the we were down in the valley, so even if the sun does hit, it's going to be a while. So anyway, happy to see the sun. We're off. Got a late start coming up on 8:30. Less than 7 miles to get there. So we'll see you over there. Hey guys, quick check in, mile 81.8, and this is called Boomer Branch. And I thought we were maybe going to have to do our first real fording, because there's actually a lot of water here, but we'll still be able to get across. But definitely, look at these big pools. It's actually flowing down. It's great. Great what a little rain will do, huh? Anyway, we're almost to mile 82, nearing the halfway point. And I'm just going to stop here for 10 minutes and have a liter of water real quick, and we're going to head out. So we'll see you down the trail. Hey guys, we're just checking in for a second real quick, and we're coming up to good old mile 83. 
So that means a half mile back, we reached the halfway point, so we're officially over the hump, as they say. So, looks like we're going to have a night off tonight in Clarksville, and then hit it early in the morning. So, kind of looking forward to that. Get some greasy food in my belly. So, anyway, just wanted to film real quick through there. Gorgeous day. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. We've been... We haven't been climbing, we've been walking fast. Okay, well that puts us uh, 2.7 miles from Ozone. So we'll see you over there. Hey guys, just a quick check in. We're a little past mile 84 and we are walking through some beautiful forest right now. We've got these mountains over to our left. Just thought I'd kind of show you what we're seeing as we're hiking along here. Really pretty. Every once in a while it opens up a little bit and you can get a picture, but still a little grown in. Um, does look like a lot of the rain obviously knocked a lot of the leaves off yesterday, so maybe a little less color than normal, but still really pretty. I just kind of want you to see a little bit of this, so check it out. Spider. All right, guys, welcome to the Mulberry River. And for a moment, I thought this was going to be our first real water crossing because it is actually pretty full. There's water all the way up. As we were coming down the ridge, I could see it flowing way. From around this corner. Let's see if we can get down there. It's really rocky. All right, guys. I think I could walk up and down the creek river here and find a place to cross, but I'm going to put these $7 dollar general water shoes to the test here so let's do it I'm just gonna go right out in this bad boy I didn't take my socks off because I have another pair hanging on my pack and they're actually drier than the ones I had on my feet so water feels good oh it's cold very cold. <laughs> it's not too deep. Bottom is pretty good, not too slippery. The water's not raging through here or I would have unbuckled my pack just in case. That way if you do get knocked off your feet, you can get out of your pack. Alright, well that was pretty easy. I just had to do it. Probably could have gone up there and found my way across, but it's been too easy with all the water crossing, so perfect. A little bench right here. Sit down and change my shoes and we'll be on our way. Alright guys. 
first successful water crossing. $7 lightweight shoes from Dollar General. Super lightweight, super cheap. We'll see ya. Little, little dude. All right, guys, made it to the ozone campground. And I just checked that out. There's a lot of good, cool, cold water coming out of there. Haven't checked the See if the bathroom's unlocked or not. Jackie, come on. Got him on a leash since we're around. Well, there's nobody here, but I don't want him running around. There were a lot of cars flying by out there on the highway. Well, hey guys, we're hanging out here still at Ozone Campground and nobody around. Um, it's a Friday, but it's about one o'clock. And uh, we only did seven or eight miles today, but it was pretty brutal. There was a lot of hard climbing out of uh, some of those valleys today. They were really, really steep. The book wasn't lying. It said if you're if you had bad knees, it was going to hurt, and it did. I've definitely felt it, um, but it was awesome. Really good day. I think we got a lot of good stuff on film, even though it's going to be a short day. And We're just going to hang out here and relax and wait for the shuttle down to Clarksville, and we'll see you here in the morning. Bye-bye. It's Jackie B at the Super 8. He loves his campsite for tonight, huh, Jackie B? <laughs> Good boy.
All right, we'll check in with you later. Thanks for watching.